Hello everybody, hello everybody. Hello everybody, hello everybody. I'm playing with my daughter's hair. That is beautiful. Mm. I remember that this is one of the best decisions I ever made for my child. We have so much thick hair and beautiful long hair. We are not anywhere mixed. Nothing mixed in our blood. But we have this heavy virgin African hair that is so unique. Yet I cut my hair a lot. I used to because I could not handle the pain. Even my own mother went with me in the salon. I cried. Go to the salon to just go cry. And she also made her mind that, you know what? In our community, when you have locks, they view you as crazy. Because hmm. most of the crazy people have locks. And so, I, as I love my mother and love my community, I usually used to think about locks as for crazy folks. And um, I have beautiful good hair. That I used to go and just cut them when it grows. And my hair became a burden to me. My daughter's hair was so gorgeous. I remember she used to have like a ball, a big soccer ball on her head when she was a baby. When I remove her hair and she's playing along, people come across to come and play. They want to play with her hair. They want to see how this little baby have a big ball of hair on her head. And as she grew, I cut them off most of the time. It was so much to handle. So painful also. But this one is the best decision I've ever made for my daughter. One day I took her to the salon because every time I make her hair, the pain that she goes through broke my heart. So instead of me making her hair, I took her to a salon for them to make her hair. And I was there in the salon. Normally, I leave her there. My daughter never cries about her hair. But that very day, this girl made a noise that touched my soul. I was like, this is it. I have to do something for this girl. And I have to do a locks for her. And I saw a sister locks. I said, you know what? No matter what, I'd rather save my daughter because the pain she's going through, I've been there. And if she's going to go through this pain, she doesn't cry. But that day, she really made a noise. She cried. It's like someone crying inside their, them and don't want the world to see. I said, no. Touch my soul. I said, no. I don't have to please people. I have to do what is right for my baby. So... Whatever my mother will say, whatever the community will say, it's okay with me. I don't want my daughter to go through the pain that she is going through any longer. So what did I do? I booked the appointment to get her hair locked up. And since that very day, the pain and the cry went away. Mothers, I'm speaking to you. Our hair, those who are full hair like me and my kids. Our hair is not meant to be weaved. Neither is it meant to be braided. This is how our hair grows. And this will stop all the pain and the agony these little children are going through. Make the decision for them, my dear. Make it for them. At this moment that they are in your care, make it for them. When they grow older, they want to cut their hair out. It's up to them. But for now that they are in your care, don't let these children suffer in the name of, I don't know if they grow up and they will like dreads. My dear, now they are minor in your care. Make a decision to save them from the pain of the hairstylist. Even me, I can't stand the hairstylist. They even told me to go lock my hair, don't come back. 
the day my mother went with me, my mom, she used to come visit me. And she took, I went to the salon with her. She saw the pain I was going through. She, that the very day she gave up, she told me to go lock my hair. She said, I won't stand in your way anymore. I won't stand in your way anymore. Because the pain you're going through is not something I want you to have your hair for. It's the same thing I did for my daughter. I really locked my daughter's hair way before I locked mine. Because I saved her. In regards to what anybody would say, I saved my daughter. One day my mother went with me to the salon. She saw the pain I was going through. About five, pe four people have to come handle my hair. And my hair was in pain. The root was in pain. My hair was in pain. They can't detox my hair. They have to use about six cholesterol jars to put in my hair just to comb it. They can, they can comb my hair. And then I have to wash it out. Then they have to just to detangle my hair for them to comb it. It was so painful. My mother said, you know what? That's why I've been cutting my hair all along. I wait for my hair, it grows, and then I take a scissors, ba 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 ba, and just waste it. But beauty is a deity. We have been we have been given greatness as Nubian women, as Kemetic girls, and I just cut them away because I didn't know how to handle my hair. This is how the Creator created our hair to be. This is how our ancestors found our hair to be. Mothers, make the decision for your children. Lock your hair. Sister locks. You could get them in small. Like mine is very, very, very tiny than my daughter's. Mine is very tiny than my daughter's is. But my, mine is very tiny. We are Nubian women. Our hair grows longer. And if you look at Kemet, all oh, their hair is beautiful. And gorgeous. Why do you think their hair is like that? Eh? Why will you like the children to go through hell? So that what? When they grow older, you will, um, they will make a decision. But whilst they are in your care for the 18 years of their life, they will go through the pain of combing their hair. My dear, this is the best thing I ever did to my hair. My daughter said her hair was so long, very long before. But the one who did it before did interlocks. It was all the way down here. All the way to, ooh, all the way down here. And because they did an interlock instead of sister lock, we had to cut the interlock whilst the sister lock was growing. By now, my daughter's hair would have been like sweeping all over the floor. So this is how our hair is supposed to be. Black, beautiful, gorgeous women. Our hair is not meant to be in perm or in painful braids that you will sit down for hours. This is her own hair and it's light and good. I remember when we used to go buy braids, synthetic braids, people. Open on eyes. Save your children. Save their brain so they could think they could do well in school. Than making them carry synthetic braids and uh, canicolan and other fibers. These children are carrying this in the sun, in the snow, in the wind. My dear, think and save your children. Bye-bye.